let's bring out the first fighter of this lightweight competition. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is brought to you by Triangle Bar and Grill. We are at a Pinnacle Fighting Championships professional catchweight of 160 pounds. Let's bring out the fighters. Please welcome A.J. Bosley. A.J. Bosley, 35 years old, comes in with a one and two record in his last fight. Was a submission loss to Jeff Dent, who we just saw earlier on this card. Yeah, again, uh, you know, Jeff Downs, high-level jiu-jitsu, A.J. Bosley, no shame in that loss coming by submission to Captain Caveman. Very tough guy fighting on a Union Town. 5'10", about the right height for the weight class, is no small man in the cage by any means. Excellent, excellent wrestling background. Loves that ground and pound. Saw him doing that a lot in his amateur career. And uh, coming in, I believe his first fight for Pinnacle, uh, but a guy that I know that Dave Fleck and Joe Demore have had their eyes on when they get in the cage here for a long time. And as we mentioned, Pinnacle FC 7 it doesn't have a lot of the huge names, but it does have, as you mentioned with Bosley, some newcomers uh, who have an opportunity to showcase their skills and become some of those Pinnacle regulars as the company itself continues to expand, continues to put on these high-level shows. Eric Bledsoe in the last fight, They've got big plans for him, and Bosley looks to make that same type of impression here tonight. Well, let's not forget, every big name started out like this. We, we all had the process, you know, and Pinnacle and itself as an entity is on its way. 35 years old, A.J. Bosley's got to get it, get it going as he gets his last minute of instructions from his coaches. Yeah, it should be interesting to see the, the ground battle here. Emmons, a very, very strong guy on the ground. Remind, his ground game reminds me a lot of Mark Cherico, actually, so it should be interesting. He calls his, his style White Trash BJJ. <laughs> white Trash BJJ. I love it. Bobby Emmons, love it. you know, for a takedown type wrestler like AJ Bosley, he's not gonna have any trouble getting it. And in fact, Bobby Emmons almost seems content to give up the takedown. Yeah. Bobby Emmons likes working off he his back. He loves triangles, loves arm bars. Sounds like a weirdo. Right, but I, I, I don't see any way that Boz, as you see on his arm there, doesn't get this fight to the ground. But when you're fighting a guy like Bobby Emmons, being on top on the ground may not be where you want because of the dangerous ground game of Bobby Emmons. Speaking of Bobby Emmons, let's send it back up to Jazz Sakuro to bring him out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out his opponent. Please welcome Bobby Emmons. Bobby Emmons, 32 years old from Jasper, Indiana, truly is a submission specialist. Yeah, four of his five career victories have been by submission. Very active guard, constantly looking for submissions from the ground. Busy hips, busy, busy. Interesting, his last fight he beat Matthew Perry by decision. That wasn't his last fight, but earlier in his career. In, in a decision that Emmons spent entirely on his back, and that, that's a sign right there of how effective he can be what, what most people think as a weaker position. We'll get back to Emmons' ground game, but first, Kyle, what stands out to you on the tail of the tape? Right now, it, it's pretty much just the record. Uh, uh, the height, the weight, pretty much the same. Uh, 5'10", 159 to 161, but the reach means nothing when we're on the ground. Again, that's just recovering distance, but the distance has been covered when we have somebody in guard. And as I mentioned, you know, it's not often that not only do the judges get it right, but that a fighter can win from his back. I look for Bosley to get the takedown on Emmons, and that's when the fun starts. Speaking of fun, let's get it underway, and we start by letting Jazz Kuro give the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Triangle Bar and Grill. Three rounds at a Pinnacle Fighting Championship professional catchweight of 160 pounds. And now first, fighting out of the blue corner, his record one victory, two defeats. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed in at an even 160 pounds. Representing Uniontown Fight Club, fighting out of Uniontown, Pennsylvania, introducing A. Shane Bosley. 
His opponent across the cage on my left, fighting out of the red corner. His record is even at three and three, standing five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at an even 158 pounds, representing MMA world and nice guy submission. He fights out of Newburgh, Indiana. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Bobby White Trash BJJ Emmons. When the action begins, your referee is William Foot Walter. It's A.J. Bosley in the black trunks with the white trim. Bobby Emmons in the blue trunks and holding the greatest nickname Easy. in mixed martial arts, <laughs> White Trash BJJ, Bill Bookwalter, third man in the cage. I'm Ryan Cavanaugh, Kyle Rozeski, and David McKinney join me. And uh, right away we have a stoppage. Well, early on, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, Bosley turned down the glove touch initially and then I guess to pay him back, Emerson came out, <laughs> Emmons came out and kicked him in the junk. No, that was a low kick uh, intended to be inside the thigh, slipped up to the cup of Bosley, and now we're currently on the break. Bosley gets up to five minutes, but I don't think we're going to see him much longer. Referee William Bookwalter uh, talking to A.J. Bosley. Says he's ready to go, and now we see the glove touch. Oh, and a big leg kick off the glove touch from A.J. Bosley. And Emmons rushing in here, looking for the takedown himself. Bosley, decent kicks though, even backpedaling, showing some good shins. Let's see if Emmons gets it to the ground where he wants it. Good knee by Bosley, and there he pulls oh, guard. Yeah. Pulls oh, guard. he's going for a heel hook early on. There it is, there's that heel hook already. Bobby Emmons is nasty on the ground. This is a tough position for a lot of guys, because a lot of guys oh. don't really know this submission, but Bosley grabbing on the cage again, the referee misses it. It's, he this looks is a to tough be in one. a tough position oh, here. Emmons is, oh, he's readjusting. Emmons looking for that heel hook, looking to put that foot in his back pocket. The heel hook's a tough one because you never feel it hurt until it pops. Emmons now. Wow, great defense that Bosley. heel hook by Bosley. Emmons dumped it, but is going for wrist control again. Bosley picks him up. Emmons wild misses strike. Misses with the right hand. There's a glimpse of how dangerous Bobby Emmons is on the ground. I'm liking it. I'm digging this white trash BJJ. And dropping that hand when that leg kick. And that was an extremely low leg kick, too. That was literally ankle to ankle. It's a comma worthy leg kick there. And let's see if, if Emmons elects to pull guard again. Nice right hand right. there from Emmons. Bosley seems fine. Emmons pulls guard yeah. again here. But Bosley kind of asking for that, keeping his back on the fence, not posing much of an offensive threat here. He's got the the. the Right arm of Bosley trapped. You see the yeah. active guard. He's climbing high guard here, looking for an arm bar on the left arm. That's, good. arm That's deep. Here. There it is. They tapped. Bobby Emmons wow. gets the tap. Huge win for Bobby Emmons there, coming on on seven days' notice. And, and the crowd is in shock. They didn't see the tap. That's how quick and deep Bobby Emmons got the arm bar. Right. We're going to take another look at though. it. Great display of jiu-jitsu. I think Bosley may even have a hurt arm here. And Bobby Emmons, it's not often you see a fighter pull guard. That's exactly why Emmons does it. It's the white trash BJJ. <laughs> I am such a fan of that. And that's a guy I would love to see back in the pinnacle cage. Taking that fight on short notice, showing that he's a game fighter. And I believe we're going to see the end of the fight here. The and slick arm bar, the transition here. He's actually goes up the crackhead the right position. Arm, but I believe the arm bar is the left one. He does do the left one. He's, he's working on both of them. You see the grip through here. That's straight arm bar. Yep. Nice. Yep. And he got a verbal tap from A.J. Bosley. Oh, he couldn't get the uh, the physical tap as both arms were. Didn't even have the arms. Didn't even have the hands nicely. apart. Credit Bill Bookwalter. You know, it was too often that we talk about poor officiating. Bookwalter, right in the face of Bosley, saw the verbal tap and perhaps saved Bosley from some ligament damage because of how deep Emmons had that arm bar. And to further fan the complimentary fire here, I believe he's the only referee we have tonight. He has been busy in the cage every fight, it seems like. I think David McKinney may have scared uh, some other referees away from coming back to Pinnacle. Impressive win there for, uh, for Bobby Emmons, who snaps a two-fight losing streak, which is huge for him, facing a couple of tough guys coming in on his opponent's territory getting the win here on seven days notice once again. Let's make it official, send it up to Jazz Sakuro for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a 
verbal submission due to an arm bar at one minute and 47 seconds of round number one. Your winner, Bobby White Trash BJJ Emmons. All right, I'm here with White Trash BJJ Bobby Emmons. He took this fight on eight days notice, came here in the pinnacle cage, and he got the W. Bobby, you beat a tough guy in AJ Bosley. Made the trip. I know you're excited to get that Permani Brothers sandwich for the first time. Tell us about Permani Brothers and uh, tell us about the fight. Uh, first off, Permani Brothers, because that's what's most important. Um, I had it last night. It was good. I didn't get to enjoy really what I wanted with the fight tonight. So tonight I want to eat like shit, drink lots of beer, and celebrate. All right, Bobby. Anyone you'd like to thank? Uh, intimidation Clothing. Uh, my corners, the two uh, fans that came to see me tonight, all the way from Indiana. Uh, that gave me four people here, I believe. And uh, Ray, get drunk and play some golden tea. Give it up for Bobby, White Trash, BJJ, Emmons. 